Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna attempt to do something that I've never done before. Guess what I'm gonna be doing? I'm gonna try to make banana bread without a recipe. So if you know anything about me, I'm a cook, I'm not a baker. But I have some bananas here. Matter of fact, I have two of them. And see, they're really calling for something. It's either it's gonna be a smoothie or a banana bread or it's gonna go in the trash because I haven't done this before and you know what can happen if you don't follow a recipe um, I guess the worst thing that can happen it won't be edible and then I'm gonna have to throw it out in and that's okay but I think an adventure is really worth it so stick around and we're gonna be doing this together I'm back again guys so these are the things that I grabbed together and I'm gonna start and we'll go through each one okay guys I'm live again so I think the first one is really a no-brainer so I'm gonna take care of my banana here taking the skin off whoops there we go take that out of the way do the other one all right looks good I think I'm gonna give it a little crush Okay, so one thing I realized that I need and I don't see it here is flour. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need some flour, but I, I'm gonna leave the flour for last. So I'm putting in some vanilla. Hopefully that's enough. Well, I don't think it makes sense I use a teaspoon or a tablespoon because honestly I wouldn't know how much to put anyway so this one here is cinnamon I think that looks good I did get some brown sugar so yeah that will make it sweet but the thing is we don't want it to be too sweet and I'm gonna measure this one this says it's a half a tablespoon, so let's do a half a tablespoon. All right. I have some raisins here. Why not? Why not put some raisins? And my eggs. Whoops. I'm gonna add some oil. I guess while I have the measuring spoon here, I'm actually gonna use this to do the oil. One tablespoon. I think that's good. And I have some nutmeg here. In Jamaica we use this a lot and I actually use some today for some oatmeal so I'm gonna be grating the nutmeg okay so I'm gonna mix this around before I add the flour because I'm pretty sure we need flour right I think it's coming together Okay guys, I just got the flour. Here it goes. I think this is about a cup of flour. Not really sure, but that's what we're gonna work with today. And this is a three quarter cup of water. I'm just gonna add some water on it and just dump it out. Oh my goodness, maybe I have too much water. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to get my mixer to finish the job. Get the mixer. Okay, moment of truth, guys. I'm going to whisk it now. Okay. 
Okay, it's mixing. I think it's looking good. Maybe I'm gonna need some more baking powder. Actually, probably not. So even though I think it's a little bit too moist, I'm not gonna end without putting some of this on there. So, Jamaican white rum. Wow, the aroma. Ugh. Let me try this again. Or flour. Okay, I don't know if this is the right thing to do, but I think it was a little bit too moist, so let's see what this is going to do. Again. Yeah, I think this looks better. Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna get my baking dish ready and put it in the oven. For another moment of truth. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I think I'll try it. It's half an hour since, but um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, ta-da! Looks clean to me. So I'm not entirely sure. So I just did the toothpick test. So I'm actually going to do a knife now because, you know, I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, no, it's not ready. I think I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. Okay, this is it guys. This is the final testing and look, it did not turn out too bad. Let me know what you think about this video. Um, like, subscribe, and share. Drop some comments and let me know what I should be working on next. Thank you so much for your support.